Hello, Larry. This is Mark, your friendly technical support agent here in Toronto. And I thought I would record a short little video to show you how you can move your photos from Google Drive into Picasa. And it takes about three steps and they're all pretty easy. So let me show you how to do it. So you're going to click on the Google Drive link that I sent you. It's going to open up Google Drive. And the first step is to download the photo files onto your hard drive. Uh, and then that will allow you to then have them be read by Picasa. So, but I don't want to get ahead of myself here. So let's click on this down arrow. You're going to click on download and a zip file will be downloaded to your hard drive. All you have to do is just make sure that you are, um, that you remember where it's uh, being saved. So that way you don't have to uh, worry about finding it later. So this is going to think about this just for a moment. Okay, and I'm going to save this in my downloads area. Okay, so it's called Family Pick. Let's click Save. All right, so now that that's been done, I'm just going to click on the on the folder that's been downloaded here at the bottom. If that doesn't show up in your computer, you can just navigate to your downloads folder and find the family pick. So I'm just going to click on this. It's going to pull up a folder inside of the zip folder. And this is the second step. So you're now going to click on this family pick folder. You're going to see that there are four files. I'm going to click on all of them, right click, copy is what I have to do now is I have to move these into a folder that I can tell Picasa to read. And the thing with Picasa is that it does not recognize zip folders. So this is why I need to unzip this folder and move these pictures into a separate folder. So that, that may be a little bit confusing, but hopefully it makes sense. So now that I've copied these, I'm going to go into an, uh, a folder that I'm going to have under pictures because that's pretty easy for me to remember. And I've created a folder in here called Summer Family Picture 2016. You can call it whatever you want. It's just what came to me. I'm going to click on that. And within this, I'm going to go Control V or Paste. And that's now going to paste those four photos that I took from the zip folder and it's now going to live in my pictures area. So now that I've accomplished those two steps, I'm now ready for Picasa. So I'm now going to pull up Picasa and all I have to do is go into the file area and click on add folder to Picasa. So all this is doing, or sorry, all that Picasa is doing is scanning all of the photos that live on your hard drive and is displaying it in this Picasa interface that allows you to uh, crop and to add color and to email your friends and all that good stuff. So I'm going to tell Picasa which folder to scan into the system. So there we go. And you'll notice here this is a directory of your folders and files. So. I am now going to locate my summer picture 2016 folder, which in this case happens to live within my pictures. Remember, that's where I put it. You can put it wherever you want. It's just, as I say, my pictures is easy for me to remember. Now, you'll notice over here, there are three things you can do or tell Picasa to do. You can scan the folder once, you can remove it entirely from Picasa, or you can scan it always. I recommend in this particular situation just to click scan once. So I'm going to click on this little side arrow and I will go down and locate my folder. So remember it was called Summer Family Picture 2016 and I'm simply going to click on it and you'll notice that it says remove from Picasa by default, which means that it will not show in Picasa unless you do one of these. So I'm going to click on scan once, click OK. You'll notice Picasso is now thinking about it and is scanning those four photographs. And if I go over here to my folders area, you'll see, in addition to all the other folders that I've got scanned, that I've got my summer picture 2016. And now I can click on them. I can crop, straighten. I can 
add color, whatever the case may be. So I hope you found that helpful and uh, let me know whether you were successful in adding these to your Picasa. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.